The items shown in green are recommended guidelines. The menu structure has been optimised and appears consistently in every course. There is a course banner. This reinforces for the student which course they are currently looking at. There's also a friendly welcome message that has been developed by editing the template message content. The course staff tab provides information and contact details about the teaching team. The course coordinator should always be at the top and there should also be information on the reasons for students to contact them. The contact details of other staff with their photos should be below and this can include guest lecturers if you choose. These additional contacts can also be organised into a folder. Course help should be the first place that students are directed with questions. Providing students with clear directions of how to access support can improve their experience and minimise misdirected or unanswered questions. Where possible, links or references to sources of help should be provided without duplicating content that can be found elsewhere. To avoid content duplication, the late submission item is a reference to the relevant section of the course's ECP, while the deferred exams item has a link to the MyUQ section on the university's deferred exams policy. The Learning Resources section is organised to make it as easy as possible for students to find the resources they need. The Lecture Recordings folder should always be at the top and the recordings are automatically added. Below that are folders containing all the resources for each week of semester. If your course requires, this could equally be separate folders for each module. Below the name of each folder in the list is an overview of the content for that week to give students an idea of what the focus is. Within the week folder, we can see all of the content on the topic. There are lecture notes with an indication about what the content of the lecture is, articles to read with references and library links. There shouldn't be PDFs for article copyright reasons. Instead, provide your reading references to the library and they will ensure that the course's library links are kept up to date. Importantly, there are no dates in the file names to avoid them having to be changed every time the course is run. There should also be directions on what students are expected to do with the content. Importantly, each week the content is in a consistent and logical order to make it as easy as possible for students to find. The assessment section content is headed with a summary of the assessment items for the course. For consistency, this is a screenshot from the relevant section of the ECP. Below the table, each assessment item has its own separate folder. The titles of the folders are identical to those of the ECP and each folder contains everything required for the assessment item. Now looking into the assessment item folder for the research film, the submission link is always at the top, together with instructions on how to submit that particular assessment item. There are also details of the item, which should be a reference to the relevant section of the ECP if possible. Finally, there is the marking rubric, or again, a reference to the ECP as appropriate. The main aim of linking is to avoid duplicating content that is available elsewhere. Please now take the time to review your course against these guidelines and make any adjustments required. <laughs>